guys, it's Justine. I am so excited because in front of me are two brand new Aura rings. Now, if you are new here, you may not know that this has been my most favorite piece of tech over the past year. I have been wearing one of these every single day since August of last year. There have been a few nights where I haven't worn it, but pretty much for the most part, every single night, this has been on my hand, tracking my sleep, tracking my workouts, tracking every bit of things happening with my body, and I love having this data so much. It really has changed the way that I look at sleep, the way that I look at food, timings of workouts, timing of when I'm eating. Also, me becoming very judgmental of my friends. If I want them to have a good night's sleep, they probably shouldn't be drinking alcohol late at night, I let them know for sure I'm that friend. I did a video on the previous version. If you guys want to check that full video out and review, I'll put a link in the description. But today, they have a new design launching. This is the Aura Ring Horizon. This is the new Aura Ring Horizon with all of the Gen 3 Aura Ring technology like sleep tracking, blood oxygen sensing, and activity tracking. With a huge focus on sleep, the Aura Ring is able to accurately track when you were in deep, REM and light sleep, letting you know if you're getting enough of each. It does this by monitoring the nighttime changes in your resting heart rate, your heart rate variability, body temperature, and more. Now every morning, my daily routine is to check my ring when I wake up. It'll give you three daily scores, your sleep, readiness, and activity. And it will also give you insights on how your body is doing and some ways that you may be able to improve. It also has super accurate prediction for your menstrual cycle using research grade temperature sensors. Usually a few days before, I'll get a notification that says it's supposed to start in the next few days and it has been spot on every single time. So here I am wearing the Gen 3. This is the silver version. I do have a few different colors. I even have the Gucci one, which is absolutely beautiful. So you can see this has like a flat top. So it has kind of like a little circular design with that flat little top and that kind of lets you know the orientation to wear your ring. So the temperature sensors are here in the bottom. There's a 3D accelerometer. So it's able to not only track your sleep, but it's also able to track your fitness. But one of my favorite things is the precise accuracy that this detects that I'm taking a nap and I take a lot of naps. I live for naps. I am a nap queen, if you will. And the fact that it's able to detect that so quickly, it's like, oh, you nap for 46 minutes. Oh, you've napped for a lot longer, like maybe like the two hours and 45 minutes. It's fine, it's, it's a thing, you know? What happens. I sometimes have a weird sleep schedule. But for the most part, I do try to get to bed by 10 and I usually wake up between 5.50 and 6.30 most days. This is too much info because we need to just open these so I can show you the brand new rings. And one of the things that I'm most looking forward to is they now have a rose gold ring. And most of my jewelry is all rose. Okay, well that is not gold. I forgot that I have upgraded to the Apple Watch Ultra, but my previous watch was gold and it looked so beautiful together. I am wearing the silver one because I wanted to demo the different colors. Normally, gold is my aesthetic. Let's open the rose gold one first because I've been looking forward to this for a very long time. <gasps> Look at this. So this one is a perfect circular ring and the difference is it has a small little indentation right here and that's to let you know where the bottom of the ring is because you want to wear the sensors close to the palm of your hand so this gives you kind of a tactile feel so if you're a fidgeter like me you can make sure that you keep that bottom little ridge decoration indentation at the palm of your hand. Like, look at the rose gold. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I'm so into it. I cannot wait to just go to sleep tonight. So inside of the box also comes with a charger. And these are size compatible. So if you are wearing a different size ring than your friend or partner and you try to share these, it won't work because they are sized for whatever ring that you have. And if you do order one of these, they send you a sizing kit. So you'll be able to figure out what size ring you need. And most of the time I do wear mine on my index finger, but sometimes when I am hiking, my fingers tend to swell. So I will swap this over to my ring finger. And depending upon, you know, what rings I decide to look for, I do kind of mix and match them. But for the most part, the most accurate is wearing it on your index finger. Also it comes with a USB charger. This is USB-C as well. I like this little wheel that they have, this cord wrapped around. That's a nice little design. A lot of times I just use my iPad charger or even <laughs> my MacBook charger, but I always carry an extra one of these with me when I'm traveling, just in case. So here is the differences between the two. This is the older Gen 3, which has that flat top design. and this 
This is the new Horizon, which has the little indentation there, and they both look really great. I'm so happy that they have a rose gold option. This is beautiful. And we also have a gold version, so I can show you guys what that looks like. So this does come in five colors. It comes in the four original colors, our gold, black, the stealth, and the silver. And of course, our fifth being the brand new rose gold. So excited about this, I can't believe it. Take a look at the gold one. It is the same ring, but gold with a little indentation, which we are going to flip to the bottom because that's where it belongs. Oh, of course, shall we? Shall we? I don't think this will fit on this finger. Oh, it does, okay, great. Now I wanna show you the app because this is where it's so powerful. The things that this can track, the way that it is able to give you notifications, and it's actually telling me right now that I need to charge my Gucci Aura ring, which is fantastic because now we're gonna be switching out to the beautiful rose gold. Hello, who is she? One of the things that I do like is how long this battery life does last because this isn't something that you do need to charge every single day. It has a super fast charge. I think you can make it almost a week on one charge. So a lot of times what I'll do is I will have a charge right by the shower in the bathroom so I will just charge this every morning when I get a shower and that 30 minutes gives me enough time so I never feel like I have to actually ever really have it off for long because I'm always doing sort of these little incremental charges this is something new that I like they have fit your goal to your lifestyle so you can tap into the activity card to adjust your baseline depending upon what you're trying to achieve my activity goal is at 300 my daily average calorie burn from the last 30 days is 457 so you can set that depending upon your activity level or whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. Now this does have the ability to record live heart rate data. So if you are doing a workout, so you can go in here and you can choose which activity you're doing. And this is very accurate also whenever it detects you doing an activity. So there'll be times that a little notification will pop up and it'll say, you have an unconfirmed activity from yesterday and I will go and look and I'll be like, oh, I actually was walking the dog. You can also go in and add a previous activity. So a lot of times I won't wear this when I'm doing any martial arts class because I don't want to injure my training partner. So I will take it off for that so I'm not able to record that. But the Record Workout HR is a newer feature that came in the Gen 3. So you are able to work out with just this and it'll still be able to record that live heart rate data. So here are my activities from today. I did some light strength training and I did some cycling. So I did a 30 minute cycle, resting heart rate for the last eight weeks, my readiness level. The sleep is where it's very interesting because when you go into here, this will show you your time away wake, your REM, your light, and your deep sleep. And I woke up at 3 a.m. for some reason and I had to go to the bathroom and then I could not fall back asleep. So you can see in between that time, I was pretty much wide awake. And then I do normally naturally wake up around 5.50 to 6 a.m. But today, as I'm recording this, it was a Sunday. So I'm like, mm, I'm gonna just treat myself and sleep in maybe a little bit longer. So I slept for another about an hour until 7.07 .07 a.m. when one of my many iPhone alarms went off somewhere in the house and I had to find it. So that was fun. So when I go into my sleep, let's go and find, oh look at this, my aura view. Total number of naps, steps walked, and more. So this is gonna give me a look back at the last three months. I earned 127 crowns. I took a total of 27 naps. Who is she? My longest night of sleep happened on Sunday, April 10th. Nine hours and 21 minutes. Dude, what happened on April 9th is what I'm curious about. Average sleep per night, six hours, 49 minutes. Your best average nighttime heart rate comeback happened on Monday, June 13th. Oh my goodness, tell us more. This quarter was definitely one to remember. Wow, I like that it gives you that little update. That's pretty cool. This gives you your total sleep, your efficiency, your restfulness, your REM sleep, your deep sleep, your latency, and these all will kind of change depending upon how well or how terrible you have slept and these will give you things that you can do to make it better. So when you click into the restfulness, this will give you some options of things you can do like optimize your sleep environment, avoid spicy heavy meals and alcohol close to bedtime, try to complete your workouts at least one or two hours before bed and help your body wind down by avoiding bright blue light one to two hours before going to sleep. I'm not good at that because I like to scroll on TikTok before going to my slumber. Now when we go into the readiness, I love this. This is one of my favorites because this is where you can go in and see your body temperature. So this will give you your different trends. So as we see these trends, this is something really fascinating that I didn't even know for the longest time is that when it's time for your period, your body temperature actually drops. So everyone with a period, this is some very helpful knowledge that I can't believe 
I didn't know about until last year. So you can see the trends here, high body temperature, and then as it drops, then that's when the time of the month happens. Mmm, fun, we're loving that, aren't we? No, we're not. And this is the main screen that you're greeted with, so you can also go in and see your heart rate, so you can see your restorative time, your sleeping heart rate, and then if you did any workouts that you recorded, they would go right here, and then you have your daytime, lowest average heart rate as well. So you'll see your daytime heart rate ratings when you wear your ring throughout the day, which I almost always do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can check out the brand new Aura Horizon ring. And if you want, you can check out some of the other rings that they have to offer. I'm so excited that they have the new Aura ring in rose gold. <gasps> it's so beautiful. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos, and make sure you check out my full Aura Ring Gen 3 review if you haven't seen it already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.